Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another video. Let's go over a movement drill that's a good favorite of mine that I really like to teach flow and fluidity to help you create separation, to help you feel the delay of the arm. So in this movement drill, it kind of checks off a lot of boxes that I like for a lot of players in their golf swing, especially for most amateur players where they need some concrete uh, structure, they need a concrete plan. So um, if you guys are, are new to the channel, um, you guys may not know that I like creating separation. I like keeping the arms back in the downswing so that it's the legs and body that eventually power the arms through into the shot. So how we do this drill, what this movement drill that I really like is this. You're gonna set up a uh, normal stance, bent over with your arms dangling, arms are pretty straight, okay? You're gonna use your body to rock you forward and then back and it's, it's kind of the turn forward, the turn back, and it's the turn back that brings the arms back, okay? You can see I'm not lifting my arms, I'm just letting my arms come along for the ride, there's no lift. The arms eventually rise as I turn, but I'm not lifting, I'm not rising on it independently. So as I turn, it kind of, kind of goes halfway back towards chest height or so, and as I get there, I change direction with my right foot, my trail foot torquing the ground as I squat and rotate, my lead leg gets out of the way. And you can see as I do that, my arms kind of travel more back as I change direction. So my body's moving in one direction towards the target and its downswing rotation, while my arms kind of go more back. That creates some more separation, that creates more stretch between my lower and upper body and my arms, so that it delays the arms a bit more, my arms are lagging behind my torso rotation, the torso rotation is lagging behind the lower body rotation. So, if we split it into two pieces, the first piece is just making sure you get the pelvis of the ball. It's just the initial. You can see I rock forward, I rock back, and I squat and rotate. You can see all I'm going is going to pelvis at the ball. That's the first half. Second half now is if, if I can do that transition right, I'm going to continue all the way into the finish. And you can see my arms sling off later after my lower body, my upper body has finished pushing and turning, and then my arms sling off. I don't want your arms to sling off early, and then it drags your body with. That's not what we want. We want to make sure it's the body, the legs and body that push up and around, and that's what slings the arms through. So one more time, uninterrupted. And if you do it incorrectly, it looks like this. Totally different. So how you incorporate that into hitting a shot, you're gonna do it once, first progression, and then you do it the second progression, and then you grab a club, you just mimic the same thing. It may feel like a small swing, mimic the same thing. And you can really see my arms travel back, stay back a bit more as I squat and rotate, as I use my feet to torque the ground. That's how I feel that separation, that's how I feel that flow. If I do it incorrectly with the arms going first, you can see my finish is a lot different. My left arm is very, very folded. That's not what we want. I don't create stretch and transition. So one more time for you guys. Let the arms dangle. I'm keeping my arms straight the entire time. And then to the finish. And then when I hit, I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Just copying the movement. That's what we wanna to try to do in this movement drill. It helps you create flow, helps you create fluidity, helps you create the good sequencing of the arms lagging behind the torso, the torso lagging behind the lower body. So try that out guys. If you, want, if you, have, if you guys have good structure, do not do this if you guys don't have good structure, okay? So if you have good structure, if you feel like your box is in a great spot, then you can add this into your, into your practicing to help you create that good sequencing, to create that flow and fluidity, and help you feel more powerful with the legs and body that eventually powers the arms, hands, club through the ball. So try it out. Any questions, leave in the comments below, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, guys.